Chelsea West Brom as well. I guess the big question or one of the big questions for Frank Lampard is what to do with Kai Havertz. Don, we've seen him now in the number 10. Sure, it was the Carabao Cup, but you can't, can't turn your eyes away from a hat trick. It's a very impressive performance. Is that proof enough that that's where this guy should be playing? Is he Chelsea's new number 10? And then what does that do to all the pieces around him? Yeah, he'll definitely start, Seb. I mean, the kid's got so much confidence come off the back, back of a hat-trick. I mean, don't forget, you know, he's been in England five minutes, doesn't know the language, trying to settle into a brand-new dressing room and add the fact that he's not played a full 90 minutes yet. So he only played 45 minutes against Liverpool, played for just shy of an hour against Brighton and then scored a hat-trick the other day in the Cup. So Frank will definitely play him. He'll find a position for him and that best position is a number 10. Then he's going to have to find out who's fit and available. If you don't think Hakim Ziyech is fit, we're not sure on Christian Pulisic just yet. But he's still got Timo Werner. You can always play him off the left-hand side, Mason Mount off the right-hand side, and then ask Olivier Giroud, who got his goal, to, to lead that line as well. So he's got loads of options. Shaka, you agree? Time to move Havertz centrally, or are we putting a little too much weight into a Carabao Cup match? No, I, I, again, as much as it's against lower league opposition, you take those performances for what they are. And, and Havertz has to play as, as, the number, as the number 10. I don't think there's any question about that right now. I think maybe the bigger question is, does he play Olivier Giroud, as, as Don says, or play Tammy Abram, who linked up so well with, with Kai Havertz uh, against Vance in, in, in the Cup? Um, but other than that, I, I see things exactly as, as Don does. Bring on on the left. Um, Mount on the right, you have players coming back in, in Pulisic and, and Ziyech, and, and then all of a sudden we're asking very hard questions of Frank Lampard as to, as to who he plays. But those are decisions he's going to have to make. Clearly, he wanted to make him the, the signings that, that, that he made. Um, but right now, given who's available to him, given what we've seen from everybody so far this season, albeit very early on this season, that, that has to be his, his, his front four the only decision between Giroud and Tammy Ram. Shock another decision for Frank Lampard. Edward Mendy, he's finally got his goalie, but he said he will wait to get him into the starting lineup. Now, let me see. Stevie, Frank, pretty much everybody on this show said the names are on the back of the uniforms. Whatever Shaka's talking about doesn't make sense. You were the only person that said you have to wait to put him in. It's something I'm unfamiliar with. What does it feel like to be so overwhelmingly right? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I, I really don't. It's a, it's a first. first for me, Seb. <laughs> Listen, the, the, the thing is, and, and as much as we joke and, and jest about the goalkeeping position and everything around it, if an outfield player were coming in to a team and signed on a Thursday or a Wednesday, nobody would expect expect them to go straight into that starting lineup. And I, I just feel it's, it's the same. For a goalkeeper, nobody expects you to get off the plane, jump, get into your chauffeured car on the tarmac and head straight straight in between the sticks and, and, and start playing. So it, it, it didn't really su surprise me to, to hear that from Frank Lampard. Again, for him, the only decision is who keeps the seat warm until, uh, until Mendy, Edward Mendy, is, is uh, available and acclimatized, let, let's call it. Um, and, and, and selected. I thought it should have been Caballero for the first game of the season. I thought it should have been Caballero in the cup. Third time, maybe it's third time lucky. I think Caballero has, has got to play, and then you introduce Mendy in midweek. Don, what do you think? It's got to be Caballero, right? He can't start Kep after the mistake against Liverpool. No, he can't. Um, and I watched the game against Barnes in midweek, and honestly, Caballero had a really good uh, game Without him, there might have been 2-0 down in the first 15, 20 minutes of the game. He pulled off some great saves. He's confident. I mean, it depends on, on what your school of thought is, really. If you're Frank Lampard or, or Petr Cech or even a boardroom level, do you try and play Kepa at the moment where his market value might be semi-high? Or the, con the contradiction to that is, Seb, if you are playing him and he's, mistake he's making mistakes, is his value then coming down? So... It's a really hard one to try and gauge, but I think for Frank, he's got to play the best players that are in form. And it ain't going to be Mendy, as, as, as Shaka said then, when you step off the tarmac and you've done the medicals and it's, it's been quite draining and the sun has been predicted over the last sort of couple of weeks, you get that over the line. Very, very hard, I would imagine, to try and be a goalkeeper with a brand new 
back four in front of you that are not exactly keeping clean sheets. So I would be stunned if it's not Caballero. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.